Signs of outrage are very visible in the streets of Ferguson, Missouri today. As the city smolders, people wonder what tonight will bring. Good afternoon, Brad is off today. We begin with the very latest on the situation in Ferguson. The family of Michael Brown speaks out after a night of violence, which followed a grand jury's decision not to indict the officer involved in his death. Attorneys for Brown's family and the Reverend L. Sharpton are criticizing St. Louis County Prosecutor Bob McCullough's decision to take the case to a grand jury and not appoint a special prosecutor. They are also criticizing the protesters who committed violence, burning businesses and police cars after the decision not to indict Officer Darren Wilson. Polo Sandoval has the latest from Jennings, Missouri, near Ferguson, where calls for justice are only getting louder. A peaceful protest Tuesday morning in Ferguson, Missouri. A grand jury deciding Officer Darren Wilson would not face charges in the shooting death of Michael Brown. Moments after last night's announcement, the streets erupted in violence. Police fired tear gas to try and move the crowds amid looting and gunshots. More than a dozen buildings as well as police cars were torched. Violence uh, doesn't solve anything. And if we're going to have real change in this community, it's going to take all of us working together and not committing violence. This comes despite pleas for calm from the family of Michael Brown, saying they want something positive to come from his death. Their anger and desperation evident in this YouTube video. It was posted by the New York Times, shot last night as they found out about the grand jury's decision. I've been here my whole life. I never had to go through nothing like this. It is raw emotion, not appropriate at all, completely inappropriate. And, you know, God forbid your child is killed the way they kill, and then they get that just devastating announcement. Officer Wilson supporters want critics to look at the evidence as the grand jury did. Physical evidence isn't moved by emotion or uh, news coverage or, or anything else. It, it, it speaks for itself. And now one of the first signs that the police department could be rethinking its strategy. We now know that it's putting up a, a series of barriers and really a wall around the Ferguson Police Department. The main concern here is that there could be a repeat of last night. In Jennings, Missouri, I'm Polo Sandoval reporting. Late today, the mayor of Ferguson criticized Missouri's governor for what he called the delayed deployment of the National Guard to help quell rioting. He also said Officer Darren Wilson will remain on paid administrative leave until the police department completes its internal investigation. A local